Hi there! In this movie, we show how the instantaneous nature of the spike distance can be used in the context of triggered averaging. Here we look at externally triggered averaging, which allows certain stimulus features to be related with spike train synchrony, and thus represents a promising tool for the investigation of neuronal coding. In this simulated setup, a population of 15 neurons is recorded upon presentation of a time-varying non-periodic stimulus, a chirp function in this case. While half of the neurons are unresponsive and just noisy, it is assumed that the other half of the neurons are sensitive to negative amplitudes and accordingly exhibit higher reliability for local minima and lower reliability for local maxima of the chirp function. As the amplitude of the chirp function varies, so does the spike train synchrony of half of the spike trains. Because the stimulus is non-periodic, this would be quite difficult to detect with regular methods. However, with an instantaneous measure like the spike distance, it is possible to use externally triggered averaging, where the triggering is performed on identical stimulus features, here the amplitude of the chirp function. When we start the movie, the horizontal green line is lowered. At each frame of the movie, this line marks the trigger points, identical but ever decreasing values of the stimulus amplitude here marked by green triangles. In the beginning, for the time instance of high stimulus amplitudes, all neurons are noisy with no synchrony whatsoever and accordingly this results in a rather messy spike train clustering. However, as the line descends and the stimulus amplitude decreases, a spike train cluster emerges. This cluster consists exactly of the 25 neurons whose reliability is modulated by the stimulus. Finally, when the minimum of the stimulus amplitude is reached, the reliability is maximal and the cluster is most distinguishable as can be seen both in the dissimilarity matrix and even better in the dendrogram. This cluster would be very difficult to see for a measure without a high temporal resolution. So that's it for now. Cheers!